Hello, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to my channel, Green Lion Goddess. This is your reading for April the 1st through to the 15th, the first half of April. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. I'm also doing weekly love readings now, so you might want to check them out. Uh, if, if you'd like to skip all the shuffling in this intro, there will be a timestamp in the description blo box below if you just want to get straight to the, the reading. And you can just click on that and it will take you to that part of the reading. And otherwise, let's find out what we have for you guys. Lots of shifts and changes in the world, the world energy and the planetary energy. So let's find out what's happening for you. What is happening for Leo? What does Leo need to know? Okay. Okay. Leo, what do we have for you? High Priestess. Okay. Oh, the Star Card. Nice. The Three of Cups, the Hierophant at the base, Recent Past Seven of Cups, Choices, Near Future, the Devil, You, the Ten of Wands, Situation, Nine of Wands, Lots of Wands coming in, Hopes and Fears, the Ace of Wands, and the Outcome is the Tower. Okay. I'm going to have to pull some clarifiers for the devil and the tower, Leo, as your outcome. But let's let's have a look at what that's all about. I'm just going to pull a, a clarifier from this deck for the moment. And then I'll pull another one from the other deck. Ace of Cups. I was going to say I don't feel like it is necessarily and the sun card. That's your card, Leo. I don't feel like they're anything to worry about. I think they're just going to actually align everything and shift everything into balance for you and into alignment in quite a dramatic way with those cards coming out for you. So don't freak out too much around that. Uh, Seven of Cups. Let's just get, I'm just going to pull a few clarifiers and we'll get stuck into the reading. So a clarifier for the Seven of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. The Hierophant, we have the Page of Cups. The Three of Cups, we have the Hierophant. So you're topped and tailed by the Hierophant. King of Cups in the near future. The Chariot, Death Card, Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Lots of beginnings, big changes and new beginnings coming in. A few Aces, the Death Card. There's massive big shifts happening for you guys, Leo, but I think it's it's going to be good. It's going to shake a few things up, but it's going to be good. Let's just get a message from the angels as an overall just message from the angels for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? A message from the angels. Choose a new direction. Okay, Leo. And this is what we're getting, something you're being shifted into a whole new path. Uh, I want to pull an animal spirit card as well for you guys, an animal spirit card as a message as what's happening on a higher level from your soul or spirit. So what does this all mean on a higher spiritual level? Message a card for Leo or cards. Aries had three cards pop out for them. So the fire signs have got a lot of energy. They're, pop they're popping today. And we have two cards for you. We have the wolf and the peacock. So we'll have a look at that. Hmm, very opposite energies there, those two. So that's going to be interesting. I think there's going to be a lot of reconciliation, reconciling these different energies happening. Catch your breath. <laughs> okay, Leo. This is the last the last message. Catch your breath. But the 15 adds up to a six. So this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And like I said, I feel like there's a lot of dramatic changes happening, but all for the good. So let's get stuck into it. I didn't pull a clarifier for the high priestess. Why didn't I do that? Okay, let's just grab one. Maybe it doesn't need one. Well, it wants one. Three of wands coming out. And the star card, just one more for the star card. Sorry, Leo, this bit of a, I just find you get a little bit more of a depth of meaning. Page of Wands, if you get clarifiers here as well. Okay, let's start with this, the High Priestess. 
So here comes, in comes Lady Lucky, the high priestess, but very intuitive. I think you're getting a real intuitive sense of what's happening to you at this moment, Leo. Like you know that things are changing. You know what's going on. And you're actually, you know, I feel like you're actually in a pretty good space of going with this. You're in a pretty good headspace. You're not blocking it at all, which is good. We have it, the high priestess, clarified by the three of wands. So I feel like you're raising, you're, uh, you're rising in stature here energetically and stepping into your power. And I think you have a real sense like your soul's really connecting into you quite deeply. It's just kind of like dropping in and dropping into the Leos and going, okay, what are we here for? What are we doing, Leo? And so it's this real powerful connection here. So there's this inversion of power that's occurred here between your soul's kind of just stepping in and and overtaking your ego and going, no, this is what's going to happen, Leo, okay? So your the human, little ego human part of you might be going, hold on, I thought I was in charge and the soul's going, no, I'm in charge, Leo. You're stepping into your power. And we're not all those things that might have been holding you back, no, we're not taking any direction from that anymore. So this is good news, Leo, <laughs> very good news. Uh, you are crossed by the star card and the page of wands. And again, here comes the conflict between the divine in the star card, your soul wanting you to be, this is what a soul, a wish fulfillment from your soul. The page of wands, I feel like, is your ego going, no, but I want to blaze forward. I want to be doing it my way. I want to be doing travel, adventure. I want to be, I've just like got this impulsive spur need to be doing something and your soul's like no what you thought that you were doing is not it I've got a bigger plan for you and so there's a part of you that is going to want to escape that and flee <laughs> and go I don't want anything to do with this so that's kind of the energy blocking you at the moment the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So there's lots of choices, especially around money, money options, especially around perhaps around a, a, a Capricorn, a Capricorn, a very wealthy uh, Capricorn. It's got a lot of money, status. If it's not around a specific person that's very grounded and well off doesn't have to necessarily be a Capricorn. It's just general. This is a general energy of looking at making money. And there's lots of ways to do that. And that's kind of what you've been looking at, trying to generate, going, I want more money. I want more, more coming into my life. <laughs> so this is King Midas here in the King of Pentacles. Everything he touches turns to gold. And it's like, okay, how can I generate this, this into my life? Manifest it. Now, interestingly, you are in, crowned by the Hierophant and at the base you have the Hierophant. So I think, you know, again, the Hierophant represents the wise counsel, it, soul lessons as well. So there's very strong soul connection and guided by the soul, both on your, like on a surface level and a deeper level happening there's this real alignment happening for you leo and that's why i just feel like you've dropped into into that power that sense and there's celebration here you know this is like i've found some answers i'm feeling like i've learned a few lessons and i feel like i'm able to move forward now and i'm starting to reap the benefits for some of those things so you're definitely being kept in alignment by soul and spirit here and at the base of the issue, if we come here and see the Hierophant again and the Page of Cups, this is again your soul saying this is all around, this is the Page of Cups in this deck is narcissist, narcissist, but it's a positive, it's the positive side of it, which is self-love, looking at yourself in the reflection and going, I actually like and love what I see. So this is the thing that's happening on a much deeper level here at the base of the issue. And again, it's your soul coming in with that Hierophant energy really strongly and clearly going, we are working on this, Leo, big time. And you're going to be feeling a lot, lot better and more confident about yourself. So 
And you're going to, it's around, yeah, like I said, self-love, looking in the mirror, liking what it is you see, self-acceptance, unconditional love for yourself. So this is kind of what's happening on a deeper level. And I feel like, yeah, your soul is definitely, definitely working on that in a big way, in a positive way. So in the near future, we have the devil card, we have the sun card, which is you, and we have the king of cups. Now the devil is also like a Capricorn energy here. So I feel like this is, you know, trying to bring some sort of stability in terms of money and connection to feeling really grounded here. And the devil can actually represent debt, but I, what I'm getting here is you can, you're going to see very, very clearly where you have been stuck in the past. And you're also going to be seeing very clearly how you've been blocked emotionally from opening up to a new, something new on a heart level, a new connection on a heart, a deeper connection on a heart level. And so I think that those, that self-esteem and that self-love that you're working on is going to be bubbled up, bubbled up to the surface. Your soul showing you very clearly what's going on, your patterns. And you're like, yeah, I can see that that's not a great way to be, I want to be doing this. I want to change. There's this, it's like saying, I don't know, I'm being shown this weird sport <laughs> where, where they, um, could winter biathlon i don't know if any of you know it where the coaches they have to shoot targets and ski at the same time and when they miss a target those coaches run past them and show them exactly where that target went wrong and so they know next time not to shoot low right just say and to adjust their their um they're shooting so I don't know why I'm being shown this but it's just it's saying it's showing you it's like the the coach is your soul or spirit because I feel like you're being so divinely guided Leo I can't even repeat this amount of times but it's like it's kind of saying this is this is what you've been doing and you're going okay well if that if I've been shooting low right I want to shoot in the center I'm going to adjust something so it's about just making some adjustment adjustments and I feel like you're going to be happy to do this because it's quite it's not a, not an emotional decision here it's very rational okay I'm happy to make these changes so you this is you in the situation the 10 of wands and the chariot yet yeah. You're determined to break through and remove yourself of that burden of something that had been holding you back, uh, kind of exhausting you, something that had a situation or a person or just an attitude that was just weighing you down. And with this chariot energy coming through, you're just charging through, reigning. This charioteer reigns these two horses together, the dark and the light, you know, sides of yourself together so that they can they can steer as one and again it's I keep getting that idea of a target of moving towards something really directionally and pulling it together opposing forces within yourself to release this so uh, it's this amazing inner strength and determination and the chariot is conflicts result uh, ending in victory it's a victorious card so you're breaking free of this you you're amazing Leo the energy surrounding you is the death card we, we have Hades the Lord of Death and the nine of wands so the struggle is over the str the thing that's changing is this this struggle that you're dealing with here that a sort of a defensive wariness about life of what's coming next I'm, I've uh, there's a resilience here because you've been through a lot and you know you can cope with a lot but it's kind of like expecting the next counter punch from the universe like oh what's going to be thrown at me now and that's what's changing in your environment in your surroundings is it saying that situation's not going to occur anymore so that's not happening which is really really positive leo so your hopes and fears, we have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. You do want to see progression here. You do want to see this new start. You do want to claim this and you want it to progress from just an idea into something concrete, into a concrete reality. But you're also scared of, it's sort of like you don't, this is caught between two 
I'm getting caught between wanting it to start and not wanting it to start, like scared that you're not, it's never going to happen, but scared it is also going to happen. (laughs) So it's one of those kind of, this kind of energy that's happening with these two. But I mean, that's just your hopes and fears. And I feel like that's just kind of nothing really to worry about. Although it is definitely going to happen because in the near future, we have the two aces, the ace of cups and here's your ace of wands here that you were scared wasn't going to happen, but it is happening and it's happening in a, in a big way. I don't think you have much control over it because the tower cards come in and just totally smashed anything that is not serving your greater good. And this is just soul and spirit coming in. So it, depending on where you are in your life, you'll experience this in different ways. It's going to be a lot gentler because that Ace of Cups is coming in with it, okay? So this is replenishment on a heart level. This is renewal. There's healing here. There's a deep healing here and there's a sense of having a fresh new energy and a fresh new start coming through with this energy of the tower. It, I feel like you can handle this. You can cope with this. Like I said, depending on how far away you are from where spirit wants you to be will be dependent on how, how, what's the word, troublesome, how big the changes are. So just say your spirit wanted you to be in one spot and you were a long way away from there, you kind of had been ignoring spirit or the messages or whatever, the changes are going to be a lot more disruptive and bigger. It's going to, it's pretty much Spirit, if you imagine a chessboard and they're like, I want you to be in this position and you're in a different position, they're quite literally picking you up and moving you to a new spot and going, that's not right for you, I'm moving you there. So there could be disruptive changes, but they are for the best and they will bring happiness, a lot of happiness and a new beginning and a new passion. And you, you could be getting a really some really good ideas coming through here. So a new direction, which actually, you know, here we have, choose a new direction. So, and yeah, like I said, there's going to be, this is hold on for the ride, Leo, but it's going to be a good ride, okay? Catch your breath. Because, I mean, how beautiful is that card? I love these decks. Yeah, and it. I think this the energy of this is the equivalent of the Six of Cups energy. It's just pure love as well that's coming through here because the one and the five equal the six. We have the beautiful, the younger child energy, that beautiful innocence and the cups energy. So, yeah, I think it's the universe saying, get ready, Leo, get ready. So just finally, if I can reach these two over here, the message from Spirit what's happening on a higher level and I feel like this has kind of already been answered so this may just be saying reiterating but we'll see the wolf energy is earth energy and the peacock is air energy and they're two very different energies the wolf energy is really looking after his family and his tribe and feeling really connected he's a leader it's a leadership energy uh, and the peacock energy is things are looking good in terms of your thoughts and how you're thinking about things. It's time to actually, what I, this is what I'm getting now because I'm getting a message coming through. It's time to let the world know what you're made of, Leo, to let yourself shine. You've got a pretty good head on yourself and you've got a real sense of you are the leader here. And so this is really connecting back in to showcasing the amazing things, thoughts that are going through your head, these amazing ideas, but uh, bringing this into the world in a form of helping others connect to other people is what I'm getting is, and there's a real, you are the one guiding this, you're the leader of this. So yeah, it's a real kind of shift. It's almost like, uh, it's like, being raised up from say suddenly you're like a prefect at a school or one of the school leaders one of the team leaders at at, at at a sporting club or at the school and you're there's a responsibility with this you're stepping up rising in status in level here on a soul level so I hope that makes sense because that's what I'm getting with those two cards, Leo. So amazing reading. I hope that you can embrace this energy that's coming through. 
And if you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Otherwise, take care, Leos. I'll see you next time. Bye.